mashed potatoes. How do you make them lump free? It's not as hard as you think. Most important point, you need to have your potatoes warm. If they've cooled down, stick them in the microwave for a few seconds and warm them back up. Butter, use lots of it, take it out and let it be at room temperature. Milk, cream or buttermilk, heat it up. This way you have hot potatoes, warm liquid, room temperature butter, it's not gonna cool them down. That's part of the reasons you get lumps. So what are you gonna mash with? A fork does the job just fine. If you're fancy, you can use a food mill. I love my food mill. Set it with the disc with the largest holes and then just run it right through. You don't even have to peel the potatoes before you boil them if you're using a food mill. You can use a potato ricer if you have one, I don't, or a good old fashioned masher. Gets your aggressions out. It's good for Thanksgiving. Hot milk, cream is good, just enough to wet them down. Add your butter, lots of butter. I mean, it's Thanksgiving, right? Do not use skim milk. Skim milk will give you lumpy mashed potatoes unless you're very, very careful. Because skim milk is practically like water, there's not enough fat in there to keep everything lubricated. This looks wet, but as I continue to mash, the potatoes are gonna absorb all the liquid and they're gonna to come together beautifully. Yukon Golds are really moist and fluffy. They need less liquid than russets, which are so starchy, they just drink it all up. All right, I might have to use the fork and really get in there. If you use a fork, you might wanna get a friend. It goes faster with two of you. All right, let's try it. Mmm, creamy.